When you consider Hashem as a father, as a mother, he will be next to you. that we see this, uh, this week, it will be the Yishmat HaRav Ozeel Ala Vashon. Now we'd like to wish uh, Mazel Tov for the new Rav here, and I pray to Akash Baruch Hu to give him Baruch Hav Atzlacham, and uh, to have a success in his, uh, in his Avodat Hashem for the Kihila. In the parasha of this week, we learn this kind of parashiyot, the about the exile of the Israel in Egypt. And uh, of course, all of us, we ask a question, what happened exactly? Why did HaKadosh Baruch Hu have to make the Israel to suffer so much in Egypt? It's because Abraham Abinu seemed to have a little bit of uh, not a full imun on Hashem, so his children has to suffer. It must be a reason why Am Israel they have to suffer all those years, nearly according to some rabbis, 400 years, according to others, 210 years, but 210 years day and night. So imagine how much the Israel suffered in Egypt. You cannot imagine. You cannot, you cannot imagine. Even, even, even the night, they couldn't sleep. They killed the children. Why all this? Why? So, according to the Benish Hai Al Vashalom, explained Benish Hai that Akadosh Baruch Hu, Benish Hai Giba, Giba, it's like a, an answer, a, a mashal, an example. He said that it's like a, a man who had somebody who was living by him, not his son, just somebody. You know, he adopted a boy. And he was in his house. And that boy was there. He was living like a king in the house of the one that uh, that took him to his house. And one day there was, was a man who came to ask for a donation. And the Balabait, he gave him a good donation. And that uh, a very good donation. So the poor man, he started to say, thank you, thank you to the man, thank you, thank you. And this, uh, for, for, he did not stop telling him thank you. And uh, when he left, the the wife of uh, the Balabai, she asked, she asked her husband, "You see, this man that we don't know, you give him a a donation. Look how much he, t- he thank you. And <coughs> that boy that uh, we adopted, that he, he lived in our house like a king. He has everything. Never he said thank you. Never he said thank you. So her husband said, I will show you." the reason between that man that he told me thank you for the donations that I give him and this boy that he lived with us and never said thank you. I will show you. He called the the the, 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 the adopted boy. He told him, right away now, leave the house. I don't want to see you. You've been with me for 10 years. Now it's basta, enough. Now I want you to go. But Papa, there is no Papa, I'm not your father. I don't know you. Yeah, we, we adopted you, that's it, now you have to go. Where? This is your problem, you're not my son, I don't know you, you go. So he left, he has no choice, even to go to his room to take his clothes, he did not give him a chance. No, you take nothing, everything that you have, obviously it's mine. Now you have to live as you are. He left for three days, he did not know where to go. No food, no house, he was in the street, he lost his weight. You could not recognize him. Three days later, the Barabait, the one who adopted him, he called him. He said, now come back. Come back home for, for like before. Yes, like before. Now go, have a shower, change your clothes, and come have a, a breakfast with me. When he eats, after he eats, he said to his Barabait, thank you. Thank you very much. Really, I will appreciate. And every time he said, thank you, thank you. 
So the Balabait, the owner of the house, he called his wife. He said, you see now the difference? The difference, the one that, it, that I give the donation, he thanks me, because we, he don't know me. I don't know him. So for the first time I give him a donation, he was so proud, so he couldn't stop taking me. This boy that we adopted, he got used to our, our he, used, he got used to our house. He become like a, like a, you know, a lot of times in the morning, we wake up in the morning, we say more than here, if any time. Thank you, Do you really we realize how much we have to say thank you to Akadus Baruch Hu? You know how many people they die when they were asleep? Bemet, I'm telling you. I know a lot of stories what happened this year with people. You know, we don't, we wake up in the morning, we just say thank you, Modi, Modi and Ifanecha, thank you. We, we don't even think what we, what we talk. We don't even think what we talk. Rabbi Ephraim, Rabbi Raphael Kawai, Alava Shalom, he said in his, one of his books, he said how much a man should really have a kavana in the tefillah when he pray. How much, because it's hard for us to, to do a kavana when we, we pray to focus on the world, what 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 we are asking from our Kaddosh Baruch Hu. Well, because we are used to it. Used to it, it's a tefillah, Ela, Ela, it's a tefillah. So the Barabbite, he said to, to his wife, you see this man, now that we throw him away, now, and he suffered in the street, now we realize all the good things that we did to him. Now you see, every time now that he will come to sit with us, we will tell you thank you. My friend, he could not give to the Bnei Israel. Of course, if he wanted to let them in Eretz Kenaan after the death of Yaakov Abinu, and they become a nation, but they will never appreciate what Akash Baruch Hu did for them. They will never appreciate the good thing that Hashem did for them to give them Eretz Kenaan. So Akash Baruch Hu had to, th- to take them away from Eretz Kenaan, to go to Egypt, to suffer in Egypt, and really to suffer, and then they had to pray to a Kadosh Baruch Hu. But it's Aiko Ela Elokim, but Ta'al Shabbatam Ela Elokim. Then they started to pray to a Kadosh Baruch Hu. Then when a Kadosh Baruch Hu delivered them with Moshe Rabbeinu, they realized, they realized, they realized all the good things that a Kadosh Baruch Hu did for them. And that's what the Prophet said. The Prophet said, Go Amar Hashem, Zacharti Lach Hesed Ne'orayich, can you imagine, according to some rabbis, that the children of Israel, they had a lot of children. Before the, before they left Egypt, all the women, they had six, seven, eight, nine children. They were so small. Can you imagine a mother to take with her a lot of children outside Egypt in the desert? It's inimaginable. But... Even a Kadosh Baruch Hu, it said, it tells the Israel, thank you for following me. Because who can follow? Just imagine if I tell you, come with me to the desert. Who will follow me? Nobody will follow me. Even if I tell you, Hashem told, told me to tell you, come, let's go out from Miami, we go uh, to the desert. Who will believe me? No one will believe me. And there, you see how much the Bnei Israel, they believed so much in a Kadosh Baruch Hu, and they were willing to follow a Kadosh Baruch Hu anywhere, Moshe Rabbeinu asked them to go. All this why? Because they realize who is a Kadosh Baruch Hu. We can never appreciate a Kadosh Baruch Hu only when we suffer something. I know a lot of times people they come when they have a big, big problem. When they have no problem, nothing. But when they have a problem, we can't tell them anything to do, they will do it. Why? Because, because he's serene. Because the, the, when a person suffers, that make him change. That's why Akadosh Baruch Hu wanted that the Bnei Israel to go to Egypt, to suffer in Egypt. Even now, up to now, three times a day, we remember, <coughs> we have to remind ourselves what happened to our father in Egypt. The, the question is why? Why I have to remember every time? You know why? Because, Behmet, listen to this. You know, in a way it's a bracha, it's a prayer that we pray Hashem. Okay, what, what do you prefer? To remember, to remember what happened to the Jews in Egypt and how they become a nation, how much they suffered, and how she delivered them, and they become a nation, and they give them Torah, then Hashem Shalom, we have to suffer to recognize the Kadosh Baruch Hu. 
I think it's better for us to remember what happened to our parents and uh, to appreciate HaKadosh Baruch Hu now before for, for something happened. I think this is the reason. Because I was asking myself all the time, Bemet, only this morning I realized how much HaKadosh Baruch Hu is fantastic. I am 63 year old. I never realized this. I always ask myself, Beseder, once I will remember what Hashim did to the Bnei in Egypt. Why every time? Because Amazon, the Amida, and Kajima. Why? Because the answer is how much is very important for us to remember the only way that Akash Baruch Hu, he made the Jews to recognize him and to appreciate him only because they suffered in Egypt. When he delivered them, ah, Shabihu Kula Ulum, Kula Umim. They started to give Shvahim to Akash Baruch Hu. They started to say, Thank you, Akash Baruch Hu. We don't need that. We don't need to suffer to say thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Has Shalom. We don't need to suffer to recognize HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's enough for us just to remember what happened to the Jews. Ah, so, Makdim from Lamaka. Before something bad happened to me, I prayed to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the good thing. You know, last night, we went to the Shiva of that boy, Yermia, Benjamin, uh, uh, I think. Yermia or Jimmy? Yermia, Reva Halava Shalom that he passed away in an accident, accident last week. And they met, I saw, when I saw the family crying, I saw the grandmother, I saw all, all, this, uh, all, this, all those people, hundreds of people there, crying, mourning the ship of this boy. I said to think, I said, you see, God forbid, sometimes I call Shabbat who he has to bring us some Yisurin, so we have to, to do Hishwan and Nefesh. So we have to think and do Teshuvah. Because Hashem Shalom, nothing came from no reason. Whatever came, there is a reason. Even Rabbi Uzzel, Allah Shalom, he did not go just like that. It must be a reason. The reason is, is, to, is maybe to do Teshuvah, maybe to fix something that is missing on us. I would like just to ask you one question. There is a Behera. Behera is, everyone has a choice. Give Arbit, we say in French. The Behera. The Behera that means Akash will give me the free will. I choose my way. Why Akash who he didn't give the Jews to choose? Why Akash had to, to force them to suffer in Egypt? They give them the Behera. Let them in Eris Israel. And then give them the Behera. Oh, they want to know you, not recognize you. Oh, they didn't want to know, to know you, not to recognize you. Why you have to force them to take them to Egypt? Mamash, Bikoa, to force them and to suffer so that they will recognize you. My friend, you know, you don't forget this. You know what it is, the Behera? The Behera, everyone like Akash will give him the choice to choose his life. But there is sometimes that Akash Baruch we think that the Behera is not good for us. It's like a baby. If uh, the doctor gives him some medicine, or do we tell him, well, take it or not take it, we force him to take it. Because if you don't force him, he die. Sometimes, if we are not well, Hashem is more. And the doctor says, you have to, to, to do this and this. You have to take this medicine. You have to do an operation. Can we tell him no? Maybe they will force us. The doctor will force us. Maybe they will force Why? Because if there is some, at the Behera, the free will, it's good and no good. It's good when Hashem, he feel that you do the Behera, he give you the choice. But if Hashem, he feel that that kind of Behera is not good for you, so he will not give you the Behera. Like when Hashem, he give the Torah to Am Israel. Did he give us the Behera to accept or not? He told that, if you accept, okay, you don't accept it, I kill you. That means there is no Behera. There is no Behera in Kabbalah the Torah. But because here as well, to, when Hashem wants to make somebody to recognize him, I mean, Akash Baruch has no choice. He will do everything that he will recognize him. I mean, Rabbi, you have to, there is a difference when, when we have a Behera, when we have the Lib Arbit, when we don't have it. When, when we have it, when Hashem feel that we have to choose our Lib Arbit, so Akash will give us to choose. But when Hashem feel that the Yitzharai can be very big, and the Yitzhara will put us, because you know Rabbi Dayah, Gamara said that a Kashrui will never bring to a man a Nisayon that um, the man, he cannot uh, resist it. Kashrui can bring us only Nisayonot, he can test us, 
resist us when we can resist. But when we can't resist, because will help us to to not to feel the nisayon. Rabbi, this is when I say this, Hashem is so that the Israel, if you don't take them to Egypt and to make them there, rec- there they will recognize him because in Eretz Ar- 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 they were very proud. They were they were very easy to get it. They were very spoiled. They were very spoiled, spoiled. Very spoiled in Eretz Canaan. So Hashem said, no, no, I have to take them to to Egypt. There I will. Uh, there they will suffer. Then, then they will call me. Then they will recognize me. <coughs> I finish. When Mashiach will come as Hashem, what it will be the title of Mashiach to do what? Do we need Mashiach? You know, my friend, the Rambam said Mashiach. He will not because nothing will change. The Rambam said when Mashiach will come. Miami remind Miami. New York remind New York. Nothing will change. What it will change? Mashiach will bring us the notion to know is a Baruch that's it. Because today, we have the choice to know or not to know. We have the choice. If I want to know, I can know. Because if I don't want to know, like a Paro. Paro knows who, who is Hashem. But what he said, Mi Hashem is my, Hashem is my, I don't want to read. I don't, I don't want to know. Vayakom Melech Adash Am Yisraim. He made himself that he doesn't know Akadosh Baruch Hu, that he doesn't know Yosef. He don't want. This is his free free choice. When Mashiach will come as Hashem, he will show us the reality, the image of Akadosh Baruch Hu, so we have no choice, just to recognize Akadosh Baruch Hu. Just to recognize. But now that Mishayah is not here yet, so we have to work for ourselves to know, to recognize, to discover Hashem. When Hashem feel that the Yitzhak is so strong, and I'm not enough strong to know Akadosh Baruch Hu, so Akadosh Baruch Hu, he sent me some <coughs> missionot, some uh, isurim, so I, can, I will wake up. It's like somebody who sleep, and so you wake him up. You you wake him up. That's it. Yeratzon shakadosh baruch hu itelachem give you baracha v'etzlacha nebriut haguf kin ratzon for the rabbi shakadosh baruch hu yazolachem v'etzlichu ba 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 ba